Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson Head Women's Volleyball Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, uh, it was certainly an exciting end of the season. First, let's start with the um, Matt Commonwealth Championship match against Arcadia. Um, go out, drop the first set. Arcadia came out pretty fired up, but uh, the team was able to battle back and uh, pick up another uh, conference championship. Well, we knew they were going to be fired up after a regular season, but thankfully we were able to win a regular season and get that home match right. for us. And uh, yeah, and they they were fired up, and we kind of knew that was going to happen. And right at the end of that first set, we had the hockey team walk in, yeah. <laughs> and the whole atmosphere in the gym changed. And all of a sudden, the, the men's basketball team, the men's volleyball team. Some of the football players, anyway, everybody, there were so many people there, and it was such a great atmosphere. And really, we came out the second set, we're down 5-1. Right. <laughs> and we're like, oh, my. I'm going, oh, come on, make a play. We've got to make a play, get the crowd into it. And thankfully, we were able to make some plays. And, you know, I thought we, we played just a phenomenal match. And it was a great match. Arcadia is yeah. a great opponent, and to win 30-28 to in the fourth. Right. Uh, I'm not so sure what would have happened had we dropped that one, but I guess we fought off, I don't know how many, uh, set points, but it was probably three or four. Yeah, it was definitely a back and forth uh, mm -hmm. fourth set there. Like you said, you get to a fifth set, and anything can happen, especially where they have all the momentum. Yes. You know, winning the fourth set. You know, you know, when you go to 15, it's pretty much a toss up. Yep, it sure is, and you, you, the momentum just changes so quickly in volleyball. You think you got the momentum going to the fifth set, and then if you get a couple of shanked passes off serve receive, and all of a sudden you lose the momentum, so it, it changes so quickly. Right. And then, like you said, just a phenomenal match. Arcadia came out, played really well. I thought they played a little bit better than they did in the regular season match. And um, they did, you know. But you know, again, your team rose to the challenge and was able, to, you know, with the home court advantage, everything was able to, you know, secure that championship and secure the uh, NCAA berth. Yeah, I, th I thought our middles played great that night. Uh, Chelsea Ireland and uh, Victoria Pro Kick both hit in the four hundreds. Uh, I thought that was one of the big differences. Uh, and um, we just were hitting in all cylinders, and it was just a, a phenomenal match. The defense on both sides was just in incredible, and uh, but we had a lot of momentum and a lot. Of, you know, back on October six, we were eleven and eleven, and then we won eleven straight or ten straight going right. into that match. Right. So we were playing with a lot more confidence than we were earlier in the season. Yeah, absolutely. So then, obviously, um, earn an NCAA berth with the conference championship, your eighth straight. Um, go up to Ithaca, play Hunter. Um, certain, you know, team you faced last year, the first round of the NCAA tournament, but. Certainly a lot different match, you know, certainly a fun match to watch. I'm sure from your perspective probably was uh, a little nerve wracking, but uh, just a great back and forth match, especially that this set. It was kind of like the Arcadia match. It was a revenge match yeah. <laughs> for Hunter. I felt like Hunter came down last year and did not play well at all. And we had a great crowd that night in the NCAA tournament, you know, when we were hosting. And we went up there as a fifth seed. I was very happy to be a fifth seed. We were very happy to be in. Right. Okay, well, we got past that. Okay, well, now we want to advance. And uh, Hunter, they also came out and played really well yeah. at the beginning. And in fact, Greg, in the third set, we took 47 swings and only had four kills. Yeah. It's like we were not, <laughs> we right. were down two to one. And you know, we kind of said in the huddle that we have to make a play. Yeah. We have to make them do something because we were getting so tentative in the net. They were blocking everything that we had to make something happen. And things just started happening. And tell you the truth, they set a couple things through the net at Mariah, uh, who was not having a good game up to that point. Yeah. <laughs> and then she caught fire, and I think she had five kills in that fifth set. And uh, a lot of times it just takes, you just don't want to poke the bear. Yeah. And they did that that night to her. Yeah. Yeah, and again, that this set just back and forth. I think you had set a match point. I think they had match point. And, you know, like you said, fifth set, anything can happen. And fortunately, you were able to pull that out to advance. Well, we had them 14 12. Yeah. <laughs> and then they scored three straight. So they were up. Um, they, let's see, it was 14 12, and then they scored three straight, right, which 15, made the 15 14. And then we end up scoring three straight. Yeah. And uh, we got an overpass on the last one. Mariah was able to put it down. So it was a, it was a, new gr it was a great win. And, and I really felt like, um, again, both teams played so well. And anybody could have won. But I think last year, we had two five-set matches, and this year we had nine. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we were kind of yeah. used to going five. Yeah. Um, the next night, you play the host, Ithaca, um, to end up advancing to the final eight. Um, and the first two sets, you know, you were right there with them and, you know, battled tough and um, just weren't able to finish those off and, uh, you know, make it a little bit more of a match maybe you would have liked. Yeah, I felt like we had a great game plan. 
going in. We had watched a lot of tape on Ithaca and spent a lot of time the night before. Uh, and so I really thought, you know, if we could execute our game plan, it would be, it was going to be really, it was going to be close. Um, and when you're up, tw it was 23-23 in the first set, 21-21 in the second yeah. set, and we didn't win those. And then that's, then, and Ithaca's a very good team. Right. And, you know, they won the next day, they went to the final eight. But we had them, we had them rattled. Yeah. We had them rattled, and unfortunately, we didn't make plays at the end. But, um, boy, looking back, now I am thrilled with the season we had. Yeah. Yeah, you touched on it earlier, but to look at the season, you know, you kind of, you know, you had some kids in new roles this year. You had mm -hmm. some kids that, you know, maybe hadn't played as much that were playing a lot more this year that, I think you said you were 11-11 on October 6th or whatever it was, and to go out, win 12 straight matches, to get to the second round of the NCAA tournament, to get to back to the same place you were last year, um, it has to be pretty satisfying overall as you look back. Yeah, well, when I was looking at that end of the year schedule, there were four teams that were that had been in the NCAA tournament the year before. Right. So it was not a soft right. end of end of season schedule. Uh, we did move the lineup around a little bit. Personnel was the same, yeah. but we did change the lineup around a little bit, and then and just started playing with confidence. If you do remember when we started the season, you know, we we played number twenty three Christopher Newport. We were in the fifth set. And we were serving for match point and didn't win. Right. And, and then the next weekend we lost another five setter yeah. to Stockton. And then, and then it, and it took us a while to recover from that where we weren't used to that. So all the credit to the girls. You yeah. know, they stuck with it. It could have been a really tough season. And it turned out to, to really be you know, a blessing and, and a great one for our program. Yeah. All right, Coach, well, obviously, um, you know, Congrats on a great season, and uh, once again, thanks for all your time this season, and uh, we'll chat in the spring for beach. Oh, yeah. It's beach season now. <laughs> we are finished on Saturday. They are out there on Monday playing beach, so <laughs> that just makes a coach feel good. So thanks, Greg. Yeah. It doesn't feel like beach season out there, but uh, I'll be here <laughs> soon enough. That's right. All right. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.